what's going on youtube gang is metal dfs coming to you live and direct here to give you my favorite five plays for today we got a six game main slate for today is february the 25th hope everybody's having a great thursday feel free to like the video please subscribe to the channel press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos let's get right into it y'all going my first play going to the point guard spot we'll be paying up like luka Doncic here going against philly should be a great pacing game as well for dallas as they're 98.6 to philly's pace 100.7 great play as he's 53.9 fans points per game for the season averaging around 34 points a game 8.4 rebounds in the past five games averaging 62.9 fans points per game in the past five and Phillies allowing an average 38.8 fans points per game to the position around 37.2 fans points at home so like the spot for Luka Doncic here especially without Porzingis to bump up the usage um, for this spot for today at point guard all right let's go to our next play going to our shooting guard position if i was to pay down we'll consider emmanuel quickly now we gotta look into the status with peyton because he was doubtful but now he's looking at a game time decision so hopefully he's out because definitely give a usage bump for quickly here he's only 4600 on fan duel but get him for 4100 on DraftKings. so more so we gotta monitor this play is also like i said another pace bump for the Knicks here against Sacramento Kings as a 95.3 pace to 100.3 in pace. So luck this spot for him if he gets a start without Peyton, but he's averaging around 11 points in the past five games, around 27% usage on the court, 16.9 face points per game and 21.3 face points when favored. And they're giving Knicks a one point favor against the Kings in this spot for today. So he is shooting guard eligible on FanDuel, but point guard, eligible on DraftKings. So I like this play, but we got to monitor Peyton in this spot for today. So let's go to our next play, going to our small forwards. Now, small forwards, if I was pay down as well, still like RJ Barrett. Now, like, again, I still like this spot overall, even um, in this matchup, but love this play if Peyton is out because of his usage. So RJ Barrett is his bounce back game. He did foul out against the uh, Golden State Warriors last game, but he's averaging around 13.6 points a game, six rebounds in the past five games, averaging around 25 fans points a game. But like I said, usage bump without Peyton, but Sacramento do allow an average 32 fans points to the position went away. So I like this spot for RJ Barrett. He will be more likely low owned as well. So definitely want to consider him in this spot for today in a six game slate. All right, let's go to our next spot, going to our power forwards. I do want to consider uh, Bobby Portis here. 5,600 on Vandal is a great play, but even on DraftKings at 4,900, to me, is a great spot here. Coming from the bench, this guy has done well. Um, he's averaged around 9.4 points a game in the past five games, averaging 22.1 finish points per game. And also looking to be an eight-point favor for um, Milwaukee in this play against New Orleans. So he's averaging around seven rebounds a game. So this guy could definitely be a slate breaker in his position. So want to consider him, especially on DraftKings, only in the 4K range to where he can give you that 30 plus upside in these type of matchups. So like Bobby Porter's here as a GPP spot to consider for your lines um, for today. All right, so let's go to our last play, going to our center position. And we got some elite centers to consider for our lines for today. You got Jokic, who more likely going to be the highest owned center in this spot, especially on FanDuel. You do have Voltovich in a great play. I like this price tag on FanDuel at 9900 Of course, you got Embiid in a great play. Um, we do have Rashad Holmes that will more likely be the lowest owned to, that actually got a great upside. And going against the Knicks, uh, he did have a 45 fans point game last go around against them. Uh, do like the game with Rashad Holmes, um, knowing that Whiteside is out. We have uh, Parker out and uh, Robertson the third out and it's a good matchup as the Knicks do allow average 36.7 face points per game to the position and like I said he had a 45 face point game where he shot five for eight from the field he even had 14 rebounds that game so Rashad Holmes is something to consider here if you want to pivot down but of course my guy I do want to consider is Nikolai Voltovich last go around he did suffer I think a shoulder injury got him like that 42 face points but luckily he was able to come back in the second half and Brooklyn gives a lot um, in the center spot they do allow average 33.6 fans points to the position um, and he done well last go around against them so something to consider as he had a 68 fans point game against Brooklyn last go around so hopefully it'll be a bounce back game for him but I'd rather pay down to a Voltovich than 
a high on Jokic. But these are my plays I like for today. Y'all like the plays? Give a thumbs up. Any questions? Comment below. Using Draft Dashboard tools and link in my description. If you want to sign up? It's only a dollar up to 30 days. Once you sign up, you get access to the NBA cheat sheet, your sleepers, and your studs. Click on the watch players. You get access to my player pool up top for watch Mel's DFS picks, be the DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all, man. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.